for the Rural Independence Zone to wish to wish more well, and they thank Matt for his sterling service over 22 years, always cordial and helpful. <coughs> Excuse me. We just come to the Business Committee, uh, Minister, to be told now that the migration pact, which was buried conveniently for the election and in a deceitful manner, is now coming in here next Tuesday for a five hours debate and a guillotine at the end of it. This is shocking. It's also been ratified in Europe, we've been told today. Minister, we have troubles all over the country. I use one of the more reasonable ministers in the government might be able to uh, do something. We've uh, actually awful going, ongoing in Tarnmel Haber Road site. We have the situation in Dundrum House Hotel. No engagement mm -hmm. whatsoever. And now we have Rat Cabin and indeed Boris Kane, who was the mo Boris Kane was the model how to integrate Ukrainians and all, and now they're in turmoil again. Absolute no consultation for the Department of Integration, none whatsoever in Clan Mill or Dundrum House Hotel. Failing to get information, failing to get meetings, failing to get um, you, to the public reps to get Minus any answers. Now. It's Thank a shocking situation that's going on in Capital City today. Minister, please. Thanks, Deputy McGrath. I'm not aware of the, the outcome of the Business Committee's deliberations, uh, but the government is anxious to provide as much, as much time as possible for the House to debate uh, the Asylum and Migration Pact. And there are different perspectives on it across the House. We acknowledge that. Uh, the government believes it is in our national interest to be part of an EU-wide system and an EU-wide agreement. Uh, uh, you hold a different view, and there will be ample opportunity to air those views and to tease out all of the issues uh, over... Uh, the course of next week and uh, the whip will respond in due course on that. Deputy Pringle.